Good day, people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, in today's video, we are going to start uh, a new series that uh, we are going to discuss, and I'm going to call it Crash of Everything series. Uh, during this series, I'm going to probably make three, four main videos, and we are going to discuss uh, the how the, the different patterns are looking at what uh, different sectors are expected to be crashed. I'm expecting that 2024 is going to be really, really bearish, and a lot of people are going to get surprised in terms of bearish price movement. So crash of everything that we have been hearing for a while is expected to happen during 2024. In today's section, we are going to talk about um, cryptocurrency especially. I'm going to discuss some of the cryptocurrencies that look strong, that look stronger to me, and then when the bullish market starts, they are expected to go up very strongly. But those are the uh, in that starting from fetch uh, a ai to we are going to discuss five six uh, commodities uh, sorry cryptocurrencies uh, up till xrp as well so let's start with the fetch first so um, if you are a regular viewer of my channel you are well aware that i'm strongly bearish on gold and silver and a lot of time a lot of people ask about what are the fundamental reasons if a crash happened in the stock market then we are going to see gold going high no this is not going to happen when crash of everything happens that bring uh, a lot of people uh, to margin calls and a lot of people don't prefer to keep hold of gold during these times they tend to uh, get more cash uh, to sell their and they sell their gold positions they sell their other precious metal positions so they can have more cash at hand and then can, they can take benefit of it so that's what expected once the uh, stock market starts falling that's expected to happen because we are not only seeing it that is expected to happen we are already seeing it in the price patterns as well and we are all all sorts of studies are indicating that gold and gold and silver are going to be bearish uh, as far as the job market is concerned job market in us and um, other countries are looking really good um, that means that if the number of jobs available are really good that means that can allow the federal reserves to keep raising interest rates as soon as the interest rates would keep raising remember the market is always forward looking at least six months so as soon as the tempo gets thin that market uh, the fed will keeps on raising uh, interest rates for a uh, foreseeable future then we will start seeing a major major crash uh, in the prices of uh, different sectors so in today's video we are going to discuss about cryptocurrency here is fetch ai i believe that when the bearish market is complete then we are going to see really really strong bounce the reason is very very clear um here is in front of you so the the reason i'm saying is very clear is because look at the bounce how healthy the first bounce is and then we have seen a correction and how healthy the second bounce is in comparison to the drop in price all right so we are doing really good in terms of fetch ai and i didn't even know what it is i was looking through different charts and then i found it it was in the bottom i looked at it the chart is looking super healthy and uh, that is when the bear market is complete because all of the reason because we have seen a drop and we have seen the prices jump once and go, go down and then job jump up again created even newer high as compared to the previous in terms of Elliott wave analysis we have completed a five wave structure started from the top here is wave one and two and then we have wave three and four and wave five if you see an overlap of it do you do not worry about it especially in crypto we are seeing a lot of leading diagonals as well so in the in the leading diagonal there is, could be a, a um, overlap between four and one like four can into in, enter into the territory of one I, i'm seeing a lot of that happening especially in crypto market so as soon as the uh, the bearish market starts and and uh, it looks that there might be one leg up or we already have met i think there is a possibility we can actually go up a bit and retest uh, 0.7 ish area and then i believe that we are going to go down and create a new low uh, as compared to the previous now do not look at the target here and say it's going to be minus no what it means is that it's going to create a new low um, somewhere and uh, lower than previous tar target all right that will complete an a b and c structure at that point fetch.ai is going to be massive massive 
um, I would gain following and I believe that from the previous structure we can say that the interest in fetch.ai will continue and then this will be the time to buy for long on at that moment we are expecting for the price uh, of fetch AI to create even higher highs so let's have a look on the second one matic is pretty good it was uh, not that bad we have seen the previous leg that we have seen is is pretty important now a lot of people are looking at the correction and wondering uh, probably it has lost its momentum no it hasn't lost its momentum this correction is the correction for the larger wave right over here and this correction is deep correction indicating there is still interest in in polygon when the prices have come down right over here and created wave A, we are still looking at healthy correction. It not, not didn't stay in this area. A lot of the currencies, cryptocurrencies, which are not really strong enough and which don't have a lot of strong volume behind it, once they even create a low, this get into very small tight range. Those are weaker currencies, stay away from it. So I'm expecting that as soon as there's a possibility the price will go up over here and then we are going to go to come down and we are going to see a new low being formed as compared to this one so this is the crash of everything once it comes down and that will be part i will be become interested in i'm not looking at a super bullish market in crypto right now solana has done pretty good for itself and a lot of time um I, we thought that probably solana is uh, gonna go uh, deep and it's going to be dead but no it's one of the very very good bounces and that's very good news i wanted to buy into smart contracts um, platforms and solana is looking really good and why what i can tell about it is look at the the bounce we have a clear a b c structure right over here um, i'm not sure if we go into further details we can probably look into it as a 5f structure as well either way is right now the problem here is that we are saying that this structure is a a or either it's w and we're looking at it as a corrective structure that's the main thing so we're going to create a new low as compared to the previous low right over here and i think this is going to be another hot buy at the end of the bearish market 2024 looks extremely bearish for a lot of markets and that involves crypto as well gold silver azure and all of the opponents of us dollar as well so you're looking us dollars to go stronger and you're looking the job markets to remain strong we're looking um, as interest rates to stay higher even go further higher because the job market is looking really good so fed would try to would love to take benefit of the of the timing of it and they're going to push these um, interest rates really high which will bring the stock market down if you're already looking at the patterns and the way patterns are unfolding are telling the story as well let's have a look at bitcoin as well now bitcoin is the leader there's no denying in it we are looking at it in the chart as well and here is the chart okay so we're looking at it in the chart as well and it has bounced up nicely right a clear zigzag pattern we have gone up and it did even, it did not even go further deep like we have seen a kind of a, a deeper zigzag pattern in what was it in fetch right over here so compare this pattern here price went up went down quite a bit all right so the pattern is still ABC535 structure, but look at BDC and compare it to Fetch. So you can tell that the price did not go further deeper. And it the new high that we are seeing is farther away from the previous high. So this is telling that Bitcoin is going to continue its, uh, its role as a leader of the market. We are going to see a lower uh, low before we do that i think there is going to be jump is going to be probably push the price around forty five thousand dollars and then we are very very close to creating a top as soon as the top can be created we are going to go see a low lower low as compared to the previous one so bitcoin has a lot more to go uh, if you look on our uh, weaker side bitcoin has a lot to go lower side so there's quite a probability that we can actually fall within the range right over here when it comes down it is pretty difficult to give a target or without the uh, and without the more data that we have once we start getting more data on the bear side i'm pretty sure that we'll come up with some sort of method where we can use to find a target of price of bitcoin 
but bitcoin is definitely indicating it's going to be worth buying um, at the end of 2024 i would say so i was uh, i have done a lot of research in gold and silver and what i'm seeing in time and again is that august of 2024 is popping up to be somewhere when we'll see the bottom in gold and silver and i'm expecting that if we line up everything and that is a po possibility but i'm also looking that everything is going to bottom at the same time there is a possibility yet but um, when i look at the stock market it can actually push you even further a few more moment months we can see a few more months of the bearish action uh, as compared to gold and silver as well so the next one is ethereum now ethereum although is um, looking pretty good nothing bad with it but we are not seeing as uh, a strength as much of a strength in ethereum as we have seen in fetch um, and as much we have seen in BTC. so there is kindly the difference the reason probably is because it has come off from a very high place all right so the dip that the jump that you're seeing is not that deep so does that mean that it has lost its uh, um attractiveness it looks to me that it's going to keep its a role but it's not going to be as attractive as some of the newer technologies all right especially solana at a lower price is available right now so a lot of people probably are going to towards solana we can clearly see at it uh, clearly look at it we can see that solana has come given a nice jump all right so even though we had a very bad news at somewhere around over here and then it went further down so still in comparison to that i think that uh, ethereum is going to go lose some of its steam not all of it but it's going to be uh, losing some of its steam it's going to be not extremely hot commodity in in the years to come because it has already taken a lot of price uh, going from very lower prices to very much higher prices uh, so that's also telling us that we are going to go low clear create a lower low as compared to the previous low and it's going to, it's definitely on my radar and it will be one of the uh, picks that i do to put in my basket as well and let's have a look at xrp a lot of people are probably want to see what's happening with xrp let me remove some of these labeling here xprp xrp is uh, actually going through a different structure than we have seen is because uh, i think right at here we saw a new high in on this high was a new high in uh, most of the commodities uh, in cryptos so in uh, in xrp we can clearly see i think i'll have to go and uh, do a weekly here we can see so not that one sorry i was talking about this one so you can clearly see that we didn't actually go and create a new high as compared to the previous so we have seen pretty good jump that's a good positive thing as compared to the previous price drop that we have seen that's a very very solid thing and uh, once it comes down um, we are gonna keep keep, keep it interested in, in xrp <coughs> and it's also one of the top crypto that i'm really interested in so we are going to definitely see a new lower low in comparison to the previous low and once 2024 is over then in the last i would say couple of months or last three months of 2024 we'll start seeing prices to creep up as well so next seven eight months are extremely bearish that's what i'm looking in stock market that's what i'm looking in gold and silver that's what i'm looking in forex market as well we'll do some more videos uh, on different sectors but that's all from me uh, for crypto for now have a good one and bye bye